Well, we're back inside of my video editing PC, which is basically the last thing on earth I want to make a video about. Uh, because the RAM has decided to come apart again, which uh, I was having a bit of an issue with before. Uh, and uh, back then I basically just uh, slid the heatsink back on and it worked for a while. Now it's come off and I think the RAM is having issues because the computer is acting a bit weird. So this time I figured I'm gonna solve the problem a bit more properly. Uh, I know that this is a Kingston module, it's probably got a lifetime or 10 year warranty or something like that, but I really cannot be bothered to return a module for such a simple flaw because eh, it's working fine otherwise. So I figured I'd just make a real hack of myself and uh, do this. Because the solution they've used for mounting these motors, heat sinks, is just really poor. They're just two pieces of metal which are clamped together and they're held together with nothing but the force of the adhesive, which has failed. So if I were to return this, I'd probably get an identical module with an identical issue. And I don't feel like dealing with that. And in my experience, this the firmly conductive glue stuff I'm using now has been very reliable. I've mounted you know, stuff like in Northbridge heat sinks with this stuff and I've never had an issue, see? I think this is going to do just fine. We'll just smudge that on there. Give it a bit of a squeeze. And that's probably going to do a lot better a job than the original glue ever did. And since on the other module the heating hasn't come off entirely yet, and I don't really want to rip it since that's likely to cause damage to the BGA solder joints, I'm just going to shove some stuff in the crack to uh, just anchor it down a bit. There we go. Problem solved.